Hey guys, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back. Um, so we're going back into the Node tutorial to use the Express Framework with Node. And uh, last where we, where we left off, we used the Express Framework. Got it running with the Hello World example. And now what I want to just jump into, which is one of the harder parts, is actually getting it hooked up to a database. Um, Node and Express works with a lot of different databases out there. I tip I typically like to stick with the relational database. I, I've used Mongo. Mongo is okay, um, but it's just very unfamiliar for me. So I just want to use MySQL. Uh, so if any of you guys um, want to go along the same route, uh, you can do the same thing. Uh, just follow along. So what we need to do is we need to use uh, npm to install MySQL. And first things first, you also have to make sure that you have uh, MySQL installed on your machine if you're going to be using that. And to be able to log in on um, Windows, you would do, you would go to where it's installed and then go into your bin directory. This color is friggin' terrible. One second. My God. Yeah, that, that looks a little better. Sorry if this is hard to read. I can't make it any bigger. But if you go to where it's installed under the bin, um, this thing's going to ask you for your password. So I'm going to put that in. And then, oh, God dang. Um... That is not cool. Oh, there it goes. I was just typing it wrong over and over again. Um, so once you do that, you should be able to log in. And um, let's go ahead and cancel out of this. How do I do that? Let's see. Oh, God dang it. Maybe I can type exit. All right, there we go. All right, so we're out. So now let's go over to uh, where our, our folder is. And um, here's where the app is listening on port 3000. I'm going to end that by pressing Control C. And then we're going to use uh, npm, npm install MySQL. So let's go ahead and see if that actually did anything to our config file that we have. Uh, remember, this package.json file is. Um, the actual like configuration settings for our our node app which it doesn't look like it actually changed anything so let's go ahead and grab um i'm going to just do a copy and paste here over to uh my app file and we're going to find out if we have a connection problem here in just a moment but let me just paste it underneath all this other stuff i'm going to say uh variable mysql and i'm requiring mysql and then uh, I think I'm root. I don't remember. And then I'm just going to put this password. Since this is a local password, I don't really care. Um, so you need to put your password there. I'm going to leave the connection string. It'll probably throw an error, but I'm wondering uh, whether or not this will give me an error if it actually can't connect because I don't remember if my username is uh, root or not. I also need to make sure that MySQL is running, which I think it should be. It should be running by default if you installed everything correctly. So let's go back over to where our project is, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and run our app. So you can see that the um, the successful output there is the solution is 2. So that means everything was working right. So I had MySQL installed. I had the server running on my machine. Uh, I was using the default root user I put in the password to locally running uh, database instance and it actually connected to the, the database just fine and then uh, wrote out that basically test query all right so let me go back over uh, to my command line here where I have my SQL I'm gonna log back in here and I'm gonna create a database called post so I should be able to then use post and you can see the database was successfully created so if I go back over to uh, node here under this uh, password I can actually specify here a database and we're going to use the, the post database that we just created and I want to kill node uh, for a moment and then restart it and it looks like we're able to connect to it just fine so I've actually never created a database table in MySQL shell without actually uh, an ORM, uh, object relational mapper that does it for me and like things like Django and stuff like that. So this will be my first attempt, but we're going to go ahead and create. Um, so I want to make sure I'm using the database. So I should say um, show tables and there's no tables there. So we're going to go ahead and create 
table. And we're going to call it a uh, video, I guess. You know what? Maybe, mm, yeah, let's call it video because this is what it's going to be about YouTube videos. Um, and then we're going to give it a name. So I'll say title is the name of the column. And it's a uh, var car. Uh, probably 50 characters. You know, maybe I'll do 100 um, just in case. And then we're going to say um, URL. This is going to be the same thing. Um, URL space uh, variable characters uh, 100. And I think that's all I'm going to do for right now. Do a semicolon. So that went ahead and created the table. So if I say show tables, you should see that we now have a, um, a video table. Now let's go back over to our app. So I'm actually going to get rid of this uh, connection query. So I'm going to remove the whole thing here. So we're going to insert into a video, which is the name of the, this thing's looking for a variable title. So we'll just create a variable title real quick, which is um, testing. And then um, we'll create another title for the URL. I don't know that I made those um, those fields mandatory in my SQL, so we'll just see if we can just enter in a record with just the title. So stop node again, and then we're going to try to do it. It looks like it's thinking a little bit here. Oh, actually, we're not even um, displaying that console log message anymore because I got rid of it. So let's see if we can look at the records inside the table to see if anything got added. So I could try the um, select all from table. See if that works. Oh, look at that. Title testing URL is null because we didn't add the URL. So let's go back over here. All right, good. So our title got inserted into our MySQL database. So that is a, a success, guys. So that is how we hook up MySQL to uh, Express and Node.js and um, just do a simple insert query. So uh, in future videos, I'll probably get into more of how we can manipulate the database. Um, using raw SQL is crazy to me. I, it's, I've been using Django so long that I've never had to do that, so I appreciate you guys' pay, uh, patience while I was trying to work my way through that. And thank you, and please subscribe. Bye.